All right. We are on with one of my favorite people on the planet, Dr. Darren Weissman. Infinite love and gratitude, Dr. Darren Weissman. Infinite love and gratitude, Justin. Thank you. He's the founder of the Lifeline Technique. You can find him at thelifelinecenter.com and such an amazing system that he has. It's a flow chart. And what it does is you just learn how to flow and clear out emotional holding patterns and any other blockages to harmonize. And as Dr. Darren says, let's let everything come together and, and uh, have nothing in the way of where you want to go and what you want to do. And so today we are talking about sleep and sleeping beyond the best sleep you've ever had getting the deepest REM sleep. And Dr. Darren, I'm going to turn it over to you because you're just the most amazing to listen to speak. So please tell us about how the Lifeline technique ties in with sleep. Yeah, well, thanks so much. Sleeping is one of the five basics for optimal health. Sleep in and of itself is an act of self-love. And so the quantity of our sleep, the quality you know, how often we're getting really deep, as you were say, saying, REM sleep, rapid eye movement, where we're going into the dreams and we're processing physically and emotionally is essential for healing. When we rest, that's when we restore. And so many people acquiesce to popping a pill to help themselves get into sleep because they have a hard time falling asleep or staying asleep. And there's many different factors, many different factors. Is it, a, is it a pineal gland, a melatonin? Is it an adrenal cortisol type of thing that's going on? There's many factors as far as why people don't get deep states of sleep, why they don't go beyond so that when they wake up, they're rested and they're ready for the day. The key first and foremost is I, want, I just want to set the, the parameters. Everyone needs seven to nine hours of sleep every single day. However, if you're physically or emotionally stressed, you need more. You need more. Children obviously need more because they're growing, they're learning, and their cells are dividing exponentially. So, you know, know that your your golden ticket is seven to nine hours. I'm a chiropractor. And so the structure of your body is really important to enhance quality sleep. So oftentimes people sleep on their stomach. And when you sleep on your stomach, your neck's torqued to one way or the other. The facets in your low back and the lumbar spine are jammed. And so unless you're a fish, you could sleep on your stomach, right? But Having just even keeping your head like that for 10 minutes, it's going to start to get sore and the nerves that exit the foramen or the holes that go between the vertebra get impinged upon. And that's going to create chronic types of challenges in the neck and the shoulders, the elbows, the wrist, the hips, the knees, the ankles and beyond. So on your back, on your side and use pillows to support yourself. Use a body pillow to keep your body in a what I would say is like a fetal type of posture is really great side to side and put a pillow underneath your knees, a real good supportive pillow to support that normal, what's called lordosis in your cervical spine, that normal curve. So those are the fundamentals. But I want to just take a look at the concept of sleep as far as when it comes to processing memory. Life is about your memories. And from one moment to the next, you're constantly creating memories. Right now, we're creating a memory together. What happens though in life is there's certain circumstances that occur and the brain says in this moment, I can't process this memory. I can't handle what's going on physically, emotionally. There's a loss or a trauma that's going on and what the brain does is it does something that's called T minus one. T stands for it's a perceived trauma. T is perceived trauma. Minus one is it, the brain backs up one millisecond and it programs us to forget so we don't remember. 
We don't create a memory. We're programmed to forget that moment that we perceive as trauma, emotional, physical, spiritual. So that when we go into the sleep state to rest and restore, our brain and our body are inhibited completely from going into the deep states of REM sleep. We don't go into them. So people, as much as they might close their eyes, they wake up, they're like, I'm so exhausted. They're not getting deep REM uh, sleep because on some subconscious level, there are memories that are not fully processed and integrated when we rest. And as a result, if you're not getting into that deep sleep state, you're not taking that moment of experience and emotionally processing it into the higher parts of your brain. It's called the limbic reptilian neocortical processing. If you're not processing into the higher brain, the neocortex, there's no learning. There's no growing. There's no healing. And there's no evolving as a human being. Sleep is fundamental to learning and healing and evolving. So that memory isn't just like, oh, remembering how to do a mathematical equation, play a piano piece, a sports activity, whatever it might be. Your system has what's called immune memory where your immune system will, will recognize from one moment to the next, hey, that's, that's that allergen, that's that bacteria, that's that Epstein-Barr virus, that's whatever it might be. And it creates this white blood cell that is a memory cell so that anytime it comes by again, boom, its natural immunity sends killer cells to attack it. If you don't go into sleep, not only does your memory not improve, but the memory of your immune system is unable to create proper balance. That's why people that don't get good rest, not only do they get cray cray in their heads where they're just having a hard time just focusing from moment to moment, but you see chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, autoimmune disease, body can't recognize cancer. If you're not getting into deep states of REM. So in the lifeline process that I teach people to do for themselves or that I teach people to hold the space for someone else, I bring people through a process. It's called the spirit holding pattern. It's called the spirit holding pattern. As Justin, you were saying, here's that roadmap of the lifeline technique. Yes, but there's this one part right over here called the spirit holding pattern. Yeah. And the spirit holding pattern is all about synthetically processing REM sleep. You can process limbic reptilian processes into the neocortex. You can process this neural plasticity through using it. it I, 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 I created this process stemming, building upon Francine Shapiro's work of EMDR eye movement desensitization and reprocessing, a process that uses eye movements to process information and traumatic memories. This is a really beautiful thing that you don't need to be a psychologist to use to help raise vibration without having reactive patterns go on. It's really a beautiful thing that anyone can learn to use. So yeah, sleep, it's, uh, it's an act of self-love. And until we get into deep states of sleep, we will continue to struggle and suffer um, in our physical bodies, in our emotional moment to moment relationships in life. Yeah, definitely. Wow. Fantastic. And, and it's so fun to see how that ties in exactly to the specific parts of your flow chart in with specific challenges that the body sees. So what are some of the things that people could work on or do at home to get some deeper sleep? Well, I mean, from a conscious point of view, you know, you prepare for rest you know, literally like prepare for getting good rest, you know? So a lot of people, you know, oftentimes will drink alcohol or use drugs or watch TV before they go to bed. And that's not the best move to get into the deep states of REM sleep. So having time, you know, drink a big glass of water, have time, take a, take a, um, 
take a bath, do a meditation, different things, quiet your mind, read a book. You know, these are different things that can allow yourself to prepare for rest. But to me, the ultimate thing, if you're really struggling with, with sleep, you got to process the subconscious emotions. You've got to process those subconscious memories that are not fully integrated yet and integrate them, raise their consciousness. When you do, the natural byproduct is deeper rest. That's the key. So it's, it's literally go through a lifeline process and uh, enhance your rest so that you can restore. Awesome. So for you, if you, they could find you to get an actual healing remotely, right? Or one of your yeah, hundreds of certified lifeline practitioners. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You can find uh, a lifeline practitioner. You can reach out and we can point you in the direction of a lifeline practitioner to guide you through uh, a process so that you can integrate your memory and, and learn and grow and evolve from it. Awesome. Awesome. So one of my favorite things that I invested in myself is your, your lifeline university. And so go ahead and tell us about that. Cause I think it's so special for people wanting to get over these challenges of sleep or, or whatever how they have going on in their life and they can learn this stuff and actually do it to themselves and start to have a system that they could facilitate healing and clearing holding patterns emotionally on themselves or their family or their loved ones. Yeah. In 2002, I woke up to the lifeline technique, this process that I've been teaching uh, to people around the world for the past 15 years. And I've created an online program that empowers people to create a daily practice, a daily practice for self mastery. So a lot of people do things like, Oh, I exercise, I meditate, I eat consciously. But what kind of relationship do you have with your own subconscious mind? And did you even know that it was possible to have a relationship with your subconscious mind? And what would the positive benefit be if you could actually get this invisible part of you that makes up 90 to 98 percent of your reality? If you could actually get it to work for you and with you rather than your perception that it's working against you. So. It's, it's a whole paradigm shift of learning how to see one's symptoms as a portal into the next greatest version of yourself rather than as a problem. See, sleep challenges, Justin, rather than that being, you know, what's wrong with you, that's a feedback. That is a conversation stemming from a part of you that is perceiving life through a lens of certain kinds of trauma on one level or another. And uh, it's, it's sub, it's below the surface, like a submarine. We don't even know what it is, but when it gets triggered, we become reactive, reactive in our thoughts, negative thinking, anxiety, worry, depression. We become reactive in our body. Our, our immune system becomes confused. Our hormones, our digestion, our cardiovascular system, it becomes confused because it's reacting from this place of perceived trauma. And we don't know what it is because we've been programmed to forget it. T minus one. So when you have a daily practice of connecting to the present moment, there's a way to activate the energy centers of your mind, your body, your spirit, your connection to the earth and to the energy of oneness. When you have a way of looking at the problem as the portal and learning how to discern and intend and use your imagination to create mind medicine. The body's design is healing. Sleeping deep and waking up rested, that's who you are, it's, it's who we all are. So I've developed this beautiful online Lifeline U to empower people with a daily practice that can truly create massive change in one's ability to be self-healing, in one's ability to thrive in relationships and opportunities to really process emotions that they didn't even realize were triggering these reactive pattern stories that uh, cause us to struggle and suffer. And anyone can learn to use it. I've had uh, kids as young as 11 learn the lifeline process and people in their 80s learn it. And um, one of the things which is really beautiful is one of the commonalities is not only do you feel lighter inside when you do a lifeline session with yourself or with someone else. But 
you feel a deeper level of confidence where what once was causing you to get dragged into the drama trauma of life, you're able to observe it. You're able to see it from a different angle. And as a result, show up as your authentic self rather than the triggered reactive part of you. And people commonly say, wow, I've never slept better since I've been using the lifeline for myself or having sessions with another person. So sleeping beyond, it, it's key. It's key. And so many people are, you know, just struggling, taking Lunesta and Ambien and tranquilizers and Valium. And man, these things have serious consequences. These have serious consequences. So, you know, wherever you are, the beauty is that you can start where you are to begin to create positive change. Excellent. Excellent. Awesome information. Thank you so much. And yes, the life on you is absolutely spectacular, beautiful, so well done. It's so detailed and intricate and semantic wise, like you, you know exactly how to speak to the body to clear the subconscious holding patterns and, and exactly what to say. And there are these, there's you know, 16 different steps and then there's 20 different steps within each step. And it's, it's so special. It's so, so well thought out and comprehensive that it works fantastic. And I feel it instantly whenever I just ground myself right away, it's, it's just phenomenal. And how can you not feel good when you're giving somebody else infinite love and gratitude or yourself it as well. It's a really powerful tool. So thank you for creating it. Thank you for sharing all this just valuable information. Guys, everyone go to lifeline, the lifelinecenter.com. Seek out Dr. Darren Weissman, and all his certified lifeline practitioners. You guys, they'll change your life. It's absolutely fantastic information and so easy to get you to sleep beyond. You clear out all the other stressors you harmonize your body, you're going to sleep like crazy. And, and that's what the summit's all about. So thank you, Dr. Darren. My pleasure. Thanks so much, Justin. It's really an honor. Got it.